So if you've never come across the autofocus attribute again, you're missing a trick because this is a really useful attribute, uh, especially if you're creating lots of forms and you want to direct the user to a particular point uh, in the form when the page loads. So let's say we've got a few inputs on our page and the user's come in to fill out the form and if we just refresh the page, as the page loads, the user has to manually come and actually click on the first input to actually start typing something. But wouldn't it be nice if the user didn't have to do that, if they automatically had their carrot or their focus in that first input so they could literally just load the page in this sort of state and then can just start typing into that first input box. Well that's exactly what the autofocus attribute does. So on that first input in our markup if we just say autofocus, uh, save that, reload the app, you can see when the page loads that the user is directed, they're focused into that first input box and they can start typing straight away and then move to the following inputs uh, either by clicking or by pressing tab afterwards. And of course the autofocus attribute can be put on any element or any input element that you like. So for example we could start them off in the second uh, element in the page, so if we just reload it. You can see when the page loads up that the user is focused onto that second input element. Uh, I'm not sure why you would want to do that but it is possible possible to place the autofocus uh, wherever you like on the page. But as mentioned, it probably makes most sense to put this on the first input in your form. So if we just save it there, reload the app. That's just a quick win to make your forms a little bit more user friendly uh, just by helping the user out by focusing them on the first element in your form. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.